Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a deck of panning update. Um, it's a little late as usual, <laughs> um, but it's after the 20th of the month. So yeah, technically we're still in August. So I hope I can get this up quickly. It's the 27th when I'm filming this though. So we'll see. Um, so I do have two products to roll out today, which is kind of exciting because I haven't been doing so great in this project um, this year because I'm also doing a whole collection project which has 23 items at all times so that one has been taking um, precedence? Is that the word? <laughs> I don't know. I always forget to mention at the beginning that this project was created by Emily from Emily and Max and she was inspired by Books with Maddie um, to create this like game style project where we use a deck of cards to choose prompts that we then choose products from our makeup or like beauty general collection to hopefully hit pan on. I guess that's the goal, but most of us use, um, most of us have use goals. So like 10 uses, 15 however many, at least that's how I'm doing it because I know myself and I know I'm not gonna hit pan on a specific product when I have so many in my collection. So yeah, <laughs> let's just jump into it. I have the game board open on my computer and let me get my list of products out. Oh, there's a fluff in my nose. I guess I'll just go in order of how they're in my Excel sheet. Okay. Um, and I do already have eight products in this project. You're only meant, I think, to have five at the beginning. Um, but you can do, always do whatever you want. It's just that um, either, like, in my last updates, I've just wanted to add something new or I've gotten the card that's add a new product. So I'm up to eight products now. But I am rolling out two today, like I said. The first one is for the prompt this time last year, my Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I had bought this a year prior to when I rolled it in to the project. So yeah, um, I've used this 10 out of 10 times, but I will say the last time I used it was right before filming this video because I realized I forgot to put a highlighter on in my last video and I was at nine uses. So it's perfect because the highlighter in this palette is pretty much my favorite thing in the palette. Um, so you get a cream blush, a powder highlighter, and these five um, eyeshadows. The shimmers are really pretty. I was concerned, I think I mentioned in another update, that I wasn't really vibing with this palette, but I think the first time I used it was just like an off time. And I was using different brushes, like I was at a, like an Airbnb type thing um, when I used this for the first time. So it was just like a different setup for me. But since I've really grown to like this, I still don't think this is my favorite blush even comparing it to other cream blushes from Natasha. I just think this one is like a different formula. It's almost like a cream to powder and the shade is not my favorite. But other than that, I really like everything else in this palette and these five shades create like a really pretty daytime or even nighttime look. Who am I kidding? I don't <laughs> do anything special with my makeup just because it's nighttime, but I mean like they're light enough to, you know, be wearable for every day for most people. And the shimmers when you apply them with your finger are especially pretty. So yeah, but like I said, I've reached my goal on this, so this can be put away. I'm very happy that this got rolled in because previously, even though this was over a year old when I rolled it in, it was still in my new makeup drawer in the box and that's pretty bad so <laughs> yeah I don't know I have like a hive on my forehead here so just ignore that I don't know what that is anyway next thing I haven't been 
doing well on at all. My The Queen palette from Eloise Beauty. This I rolled in for the prompt indie because as far as I know, Eloise is an indie brand. I only have a five use goal on this and I'm still at two <laughs> uses. So I don't have any more update on this. This is what it looks like. I do intend to use it three more times. And at the end I might consider rolling it, no, I might consider decluttering this because I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I need this palette, although I do really like the color story. It's colorful, but like jewel toned, so it's not super like neon or anything, and you can do more neutral looks with it. I guess I just feel like if I was that excited about it, I would have used it more, and I honestly kind of forgot that it was even in this project. So to me, that means like, I, it could be something I declutter. But we'll see. If in those three more uses, I end up loving the looks, I'll just keep it. But that's my update for that one. Um, next for the prompt focus, this is the second product I'm rolling out. I rolled in the Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade Coral Ember. I use this actually over my goal. I used it 11 out of the 10 times. I actually think I use it even more than that, but since this is what I do, like when I do these projects, when I reach my goal, I just stop counting. <laughs> so my numbers, like my use counts are not very accurate at all. But I will say this product is now up to here. Although there wasn't that much product in here to begin with, I feel like this product is actually quite expensive if you did like a like, you know, measurement to price breakdown. It's probably even more expensive than like a Sephora cream blush. But I do really like, I did really end up liking this product. I know when I rolled it in, I think I said like I wasn't sure about it. Um, because it is a sheer, I mean, it's called sheer gel cream blush, and that's exactly what it is. So if you want it to be more punchier, you definitely have to use more. So I find like I use quite a bit of this, like two, probably two like pea size amounts, um, for each cheek even. Um, so yeah. But I do really like this product. I like how it blends in and how it looks when it's, you know, finished. So I'm going to keep this, of course, but I will put it back in my collection. And the reason I rolled this in for focus, for the prompt focus, is because I want to focus on using cream blushes because I have so many. Next product, not doing so good on my Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil Duo. I rolled this in for the prompt metallic because there's a metallic side and a glitter side. And I have five of these. I mention this every update and they're getting dry, especially the metallic side. Um, but they do still work and the glitter side is actually like a flaky eyeshadow and it's really pretty so the times that I did use this I did like it I actually only have a five use goal on this and I've used it twice so three more times for this one next for and I got the prompt indie again and I rolled in the Odin's Eye matte lip stain in ripe papaya this pretty like brick like burnt orange kind of shade it's actually very unique to my collection and I really like it so um, I just haven't like I guess been doing looks where this was the best lip product to use also this is more like a fall shade to me so I've only used this once <laughs> once out of the five times but I've used it at least once before rolling it in so I feel like I've used it more but actually I've only used it once since I rolled it into the project so four more uses on that one but it is getting into fall so I'll probably 
be it'll probably be easier to use that shade um, next for the prompt influenced I rolled in my rare beauty power boost front well actually I think the shade is power boost anyway my Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade Power Boost. I love this. I think it's my favorite cream bronzer. Pretty sure. It's just so easy to apply. Uh, it blends out like in seconds and it's a great shade for me. I was a little worried it was too going to be too light but it's a good enough undertone that you can see like it bronzes my skin. I also have to say I love this packaging because it does this. You heard that? So that makes me feel like I know I've closed it properly and it's not gonna dry out and it's just like a nice added touch. <laughs> so yeah, happy to use this. I only have four more uses on this one because my goal was to use it ten times and I've used it six. Honestly, I've been using this almost every time I do my makeup, so I need to, I guess, use other stuff too. So for the prompt double-ended or a duo, I rolled in my Wander Beauty Dual Lipstick. This is, it has two shades. They're both pink, but one's like a brighter fuchsia called Nikki Beach and the other side is like a more neutral pink and this one is called BB and I really like this I like the shades I have used both shades but I will say I use the more neutral pink more often because just because it goes with more of my like really basic <laughs> five minute makeup looks that I've been doing throughout the summer but I've used this five out of the ten times so five more uses to go on that one and the last product I honestly forgot about till just the other day where I used it again my hourglass dim infusion blush this just is a blush that looks so boring when i look at it and when i swatch it but on the face it's actually really pretty and a nice like everyday blush um but i do have a 10 use goal on this one and i've only used it twice and i rolled this in for the prompt blush so there you go i'm just working on so many blushes and other projects including this one i had a cream blush and this one was more like what i reached for but i think this will be something i could put more of a focus on now i mean i shouldn't speak too soon because i'm gonna roll in mm, we'll see i might roll in two products or maybe just one but yeah um that's fine. I will happily use this eight more times. So that was my update. Now I'm going to choose my new prompts. I have my deck here. I've already shuffled it off camera because I am terrible at shuffling cards and I don't want to have to edit the struggles out. And I pulled out one joker because there's two jokers in this deck and you only need to have one. And if you get the joker, you have to roll in a product that you really don't want to pen. And I've been thinking about this, and I feel like it's going to be, if I get the joker, um, hopefully I don't jinx myself, but I think I would roll in the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. <laughs> because I was thinking the other day, like, how on earth am I ever going to use this up? Like, this product will last longer than my lifetime because you use like a speck at a time, especially the shade that I have, which is like a deep like um, terracotta shade. So that's definitely <laughs> gonna be my Joker product if I get the Joker. But let me pull up the game board uh, and we'll just see. So I just normally pick from the top. So let's just go ahead. The Seven of Diamonds. Okay, so the Seven of Diamonds, oh, I've gotten this before, <laughs> out of control category. 
I'm gonna have to think about that because honestly a lot of my categories are out of control. <laughs> so yes, let's think about this one. Yeah, let's do another one because why not? <laughs> I just, this is what happened last time. I said, let's just do one more and then I got add a new product. So let's see, three of spades. Three of spades is a highlight, right? As in highlighter, let's just make sure. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I don't interpret these prompts correctly. So yes, highlight is in a highlighter. <laughs> so, okay, that's fine because I'm not working on that many highlighters? That's not true. I'm working on four highlighters. <laughs> oh, oh well. Actually, this might be good because as I mentioned earlier, I forgot to put a highlighter on today and I was doing like a full face video and I even said the video. You'll have seen it before this actually, so I'll just say what it is. I did like a trying new makeup um, of like Sephora favorites and I forgot to put a highlighter on and I said, I'm forgetting something. And I couldn't think of it and it was highlighter. So maybe, you know, having so many highlighters in projects will make me use them more because I actually do really like highlighters. I feel like they do make a big difference in your overall look. I think like I'm just being influenced by everyone else saying they don't wear highlighter anymore and I'm like oh okay I guess I don't need to wear highlighter but like I like highlighter so I don't know why I'm doing that anyway let me go and pick two these two products and I'll be back to show you what they are okay I'm back that actually was not long at all so for out of control category I definitely think that's my setting sprays because I have um, a lot. I don't even remember right now, but if you saw my makeup inventory, you'd know. And I did just finish a deluxe size, or like a, yeah, a deluxe sample size setting spray, but I did bring in another setting spray because um, of that Sephora favorite set that I tried in my last video. So I'm even on them again. So, um, what I did was I just went to my Tiny Decisions app and I rolled for a random setting spray because that's more fun to me. And I'm actually really excited. I got this Milani Green Goddess Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Hydrating Facial Mist. And I think I've only used this once before in my life. Um, I think in like a drugstore try-on video. So, I'm excited. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't love Milani setting spray nozzles. I feel like they're kind of aggressive. I have actually a mini Milani Make It Dewy setting spray in my Shop My Stash, but that's gonna be rolled out when I film that update. So I'm gonna replace it with this one and hope that I like it. Yeah, it's a hydrating facial mist, so that is definitely what I like. It's supposed to be weightless, and yeah, you can use it as a prep or a refresh. Ooh, I like that. I have noticed I use setting sprays a lot more when they're meant to be as refreshers, because then I use them, like, even though, even when I'm not wearing makeup, I can put them on and, like, not feel guilty about wasting product <laughs> which is another issue that I seem to have but yeah okay this is exciting and the other product for my highlighter is also very exciting I use my tiny decisions app again to choose a random highlighter because that's just fun and I got this color pop might as shell super shock highlighter and it's actually a quad which is fun because then I'll have more variety and all the highlighters I'm working on, except for one, 
are like the same shade so <laughs> this is more fun I guess and I do like the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter Formula it's very pretty and like soft and I don't know if soft is the right word actually <laughs> it's kind of um wow I don't know what I'm trying to say it's like smooth and like seamless on the skin but you can see that you're wearing highlighter I guess that's the best way I can describe it and I don't know if I've ever used this I've definitely swatched it because it looks touched but I think it's brand new and that's why I mean it's not a new product that's from like last year last summer or the one before oh my god but these feel like butter and I'm very excited about this look at those shades so this is very fun I mean would I have preferred to use a product like this in the summer it's still summer when I'm filming this but it's just it feels like we're all ready for fall <laughs> but yeah this would have been more like a summery product for me but that's fine I need to get some use on it oh so for use goals um, let's do 10 on both things and I think that will be good yes so that is my update I hope you liked it um if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye